In this tutorial, I'm going to show you step-by-step -step how to create your Faceit page. After you log into your member area, you'll see that you have a number of options. To get started on your Faceit page, click on the Create New Facebook Page link under Account Information. This will take you to the first and most crucial step, adding your page info. Here is where you will want to add the main content that will appear on your page, as well as give your page a title. From there, you can move on to the fun part adding your modules. These will make up the bulk of your Faceit page and is where your customization comes into play. You can add as many or as few modules as you wish, but for the purpose of this tutorial I'm going to cover some of our most popular ones. If you want to really grab your viewers attention when they first land on your Facebook page, you'll want to upload a header graphic. Simply choose an image from your computer that is 520 pixels wide and click the Add Image button to see a preview of your page header. You may want to add a photo gallery or slideshow to your page. Open the Photos module and select the photos you would like to upload. Add a description if you wish and click the Add Image button to see a preview of your photo. You can choose either a photo gallery or slideshow effect for your images in order to display them in a way that best suits you. One of our most popular modules is our Fangate module. This will allow you to add content that will display for someone who hasn't yet liked your page. You can customize the message however you want to drive likes to your page and garner even more traffic for your brand. Upload an image, write an opening message, and choose your layout. Then hit the Add Fangate button to see a preview. You can add navigation links to the top of your page by visiting the Menu Tabs module. From there, you can either choose to link to another Facebook page that you have installed, or link to an external page, like your website or blog. Give your tab a name and choose the order you want to display it, then click Add New Tab to add the new navigation item. If you would like to display your contact information on your page, open the Contact Info module. If you've filled out your profile, the fields will already have your information stored. If not, you can fill out this information and display it how you wish, then hit Update Contact Block to add this module to your page. One of our newest modules is our Custom Contact Form module, which allows you to build your own contact form, or if you wish, choose our pre-designed form. You can easily customize your form with a title and description of your choosing, as well as a confirmation message to display once the form has been filled out. Add the email address and name of the to and from email accounts, then hit the Save and Preview button to see how it all looks. Using our promo module, you can set up coupons or promotions for your product or service. You may add a description and image if you wish, then move on to fill in the details and select which offering you would like to provide. For this demonstration, I chose the percent off promo. From there, you can fill in the necessary information like the link to your purchase page, the promo code, and the actual discount percentage. If you wish, you can require an email confirmation, which will send the promo code to the recipient in an email rather than displaying it publicly. When you're finished, hit the Add Promo button to see how your promo will display. If you would like to add a YouTube video to your page, all you have to do is copy and paste the URL from YouTube into the field. If you would like to add individual products or listings to your page, open our Listings module. From here, you can add your product description, upload a photo, and add different property or product details. Then, when you're ready, click Add Product to see how your listing will display. To add your WordPress blog feed to your page, simply copy and paste the feed URL into the field, select the number of entries you want to display, and hit Add. The process is very similar for adding a Twitter feed, Facebook comments, or Scribd file, so I won't go into those for this tutorial. Adding a SlideShare document to your page is as easy as grabbing the embed code provided from the SlideShare site, pasting it into our field, and clicking Add. If you're a band or musician, or just want to spruce up your page with some music, you may want to add our playlist module. Doing so is easy. Just obtain the URL where the MP3 is located, add the title track, artist, and album information if you wish, and hit Add. Google Analytics are an invaluable way to keep track of the traffic your page is getting. To add analytics to your page, all you need to do is add your analytics ID into the field. 
Keep in mind that Face It Pages also provides you with this information, but this module allows you to view your stats within your Google Analytics account as well. Once you've added all the modules you want to add, it's time to move on to the next step of your page creation, choosing a template. Face It Pages has all sorts of different colors and styles for you to choose from, so be sure to browse through our selection to find the template that will look best for your page. Once you have chosen the template that best represents your brand, you can move on to our final step, previewing, saving, and uploading your Face It page right to Facebook. As you can see here, Face It Pages gives you a preview of how your page will look with your template and all the modules you've added. If for whatever reason you're not happy with how your page turned out, you can return to any of the previous steps to make the changes you feel are necessary. Once you're satisfied with your page, click the red Save and Publish link to move on. Congratulations! Your Face It page has been successfully saved and is now ready to be installed on Facebook. Click the Install button to be taken to our simple on-screen instructions, and in a matter of seconds, your Face It page will become your new Facebook page. Now that you know how to create your Face It page, it's time to try out the system for yourself.